My name is Rich Allen and I'm the owner operator of Moss Beach Ranch. I grew up on my grandfather's cattle ranch in northern Missouri and we worked with horses every day. At about age 18 I kind of put all that away and went off uh, to a career in the army and then uh, went to college and uh, kind of forgot about horses for 25 or 30 years and one morning I woke up and I decided I wanted to have horses back in my life and, um, and I did and I ended up with a 50 acre horse ranch. The thing that keeps me working with horses is that the horse world is getting smaller and smaller and smaller here in, um, in North America. Due to development, uh, a lot of the lands that used to be available for horseback riding are being developed. As a result, there are fewer and fewer opportunities for kids in particular to have the opportunity to uh, find out what it's like to ride a horse. And so we have summer camp here at Moss Beach Ranch and we take kids who are six years old through ages 15 and we teach them how to start, stop, and steer full-sized horses. About 70% of our kids are from San Francisco. Uh, many of them have never been on a horse before and certainly haven't really ridden. So uh, it's our opportunity to keep that alive in our culture. It's a small thing, but it's a thing. There's a summer camp here and um, that are really popular because he wants to keep on introducing people to to horses and the ranch lifestyle and open air and you know riding in the back of a pickup truck you know kids just don't get to experience that anymore my favorite thing about working here at the ranch is seeing the kids grow i definitely appreciate the community here and how close it is and how great all the horses are the community here, there's not really a lot of judging and we're all just kind of work together and are just like really nice. And that's, I mean, that is, that is absolutely thrilling to watch, is to watch kids grow up out here and uh, see the kind of values that um, it instills in kids. I guess I've learned probably like responsibility. There are kids who started out at camp here uh, when I came here 16 years ago who now are running our camp. They've gone through college and come back as trainers. Well, I feel like we all relate because we all have a passion for horses, so we can talk to each other about anything. And it's not about how you're dressed or you know how you present yourself, whether you're good looking, not good looking, what you know, whatever, whether you speak well or don't speak well. It's how you care for your horse, and that really sh shows and, and shines through for some kids. And that's part of the the magic of this place. The preservation of the horse culture, particularly here in San Mateo County, is something that I feel very strongly about. We are working with the Golden Gate National Recreation Area, who owns the property around this ranch, to make sure that horses stay here for a long time in the future. And that's not something that's to be taken lightly, because once they're gone, they're gone. And it's not that anybody wants to see them gone, it's just the pressures of development and overcrowding. and the number of people who want to live in this area in California it makes it more difficult to keep a horse. We're very interested in keeping the horse culture going. A lot of people don't even, never been to a farm, never been to a ranch. Um, and so even if there's a so-called competitor that's not doing well, it's in the horse business, you don't want them to go out of business because then those horses will probably never come back to the coast side. And that's a really sad thing.